Here's a number that's hard to believe. A Boeing 747-400 at cruise burns around 10 to 11 tons of fuel every single hour. That's like filling up 11,000 family cars every hour. Think about that. A single jumbo jet draining what feels like an entire petrol station every few minutes. At cruise, four massive engines are each swallowing roughly two and a half tons of fuel an hour, converting kerosene into thrust that keeps 400 tons of aircraft moving at nearly 600 miles an hour. It sounds outrageous, but at this scale, it's physics. The 747's wings generate lift for a weight equal to two blue whales, while its engines must overcome drag the size of a small house. Burning through tons of fuel isn't waste. It's the price of moving hundreds of passengers and cargo halfway across the planet in hours instead of weeks. A modern twin jet like the Boeing 787 or Airbus A350 slashes that burn by 20 to 25 percent, thanks to lighter structures and more efficient engines. But back when the 747-400 ruled the skies, airlines traded efficiency for capacity. Carrying 416 passengers at once made the economics work, even at 11 tons per hour. Every drop is calculated before flight. Dispatchers plan fuel loads with reserves for holding, diversions and contingencies. There's no topping up just in case. Because carrying extra fuel makes the jet heavier, which ironically burns even more fuel. So yes, the 747-400 guzzles 11 tons an hour, but it also defined an era where flying became truly global. The question is, do you see that as incredible engineering or incredible excess?